Rush Hour piece sort of came about um, as some of my best pieces always come about by sort of a, a flash, so to speak. And uh, uh, that one in particular was on a afternoon walk downtown in Boston, and uh, I happened to, uh, it happened to be lunch hour, and uh, there were just uh, masses of people going against me and with me, and um, just sort of suddenly I, I got this, uh, I in fact couldn't wait to get home to my studio. Uh, suddenly there was this uh, image of these, and there was a little rain actually too, so it sort of gave it an urgency to the, to the, um, rush of the people going uh, with and against me. And um, I just got this instant flash of an image that uh, would be uh, a, a great way to uh, convey uh, that energy that happens when people are on their way to work or from work or lunch or whatever. But downtown in, a, in almost any city in the world would be similar to that. You try to capture it like a butterfly and uh, get a net and try to capture it. And um, if you're lucky, it works. And of course, there's a lot of so you know editing, so to speak, taking things out and putting things back in. But um, usually, those flash flashes are successes. And uh, I, I have a limited amount of those, but they're successes. R right. Well, the reference to Chimera is actually. Uh, it's not in a bad way, but a good way. It makes uh, this mass of people into kind of a single monster and uh, a chimera. And, um, um, you know, obviously all those people are individuals, but at that moment, they're all uh, sort of one thing as well. Um, but it's actually a hard thing to show m movement because you have to uh, play with, like in music, you have to play with rhythms. And in this way, in this case, it's eye rhythm. Um, sort of keeping the, the eye uh, out of focus in a weird way. Fifth Avenue, having coffee three or four stories up in the Warner Building, and there's a uh, crosswalk down on Fifth Avenue, and I uh, just happened to be looking down, and uh, there they were, mm. people crossing a crosswalk. Uh, went home and, and started uh, made a model. Yeah. And uh, the model's different than the than the big one because in the model I actually put it was raining that day and I put umbrellas, mm -hmm. which is effective, but it's more effective I think with just uh, just the people. Let's walk in. It sort of is a uh, uh, can be a metaphor for you know you're you're being forced. Obviously, if you want to cross the street, you, you cross on a crosswalk, and so you're forced to go from A to B, and in a way, it's um, our life in the city is, is uh, in an extended way, kind of like that, and uh, always having to move from A to B. And so you have this mass of, well, I think there are, what, five people hanging from the top of the, the or seen, as seen from above, five stories above, uh, sort of uh, being forced by gravity across the crosswalk from one side of the street to the other. The gravity of their lives, whatever.